Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor Random Sim. Today I'll be talking about this mini portable teleprompter. When I started this YouTube channel and began recording new videos, I'd write notes on the video subject and then elaborate on them when going live. That resulted in me completely forgetting what I had to say, often being stuck for words. So then I decided to write a script, which I'd memorise and then going live, read out the spiel. This often resulted in me forgetting my lines, making the process longer than it should have been. Something I've never been good at in the past, going back to French examinations at school. So, I decided to get a teleprompter. Initially, I was using a homemade teleprompter made from some Perspex and foam board, but decided to invest in a proper one. This mini teleprompter at £46 when I purchased it was the cheapest teleprompter that you can buy on Amazon. I'll leave a link below to where you can get this. Currently, it's on sale on Amazon for £50. In the box, you get the main teleprompter unit, a DSLR shading plate, phone shading plate, three small back planes, depending on your phone model and the camera profile on your phone will dictate which back plane is appropriate for you to use. I film my videos on an iPhone 11 and use this one as it reflects the 11's camera profile best. The back plane then fits onto the phone shading plate. The ball head which your DSLR camera can sit onto to reach a teleprompter unit and fit against the shading plate. A phone clamp mount quick release plate, useful when you're using a DSLR and when using teleprompter on a tripod. As I've noticed there isn't much room underneath the unit itself to fit a standard tripod to it, but there is enough to fit a mini tripod. Fittings to attach and secure the ball head and teleprompter to the quick release plate, or the phone clamp mount to the teleprompter if you're using your phone in landscape or portrait orientation. And my favourite accessory to this teleprompter setup, a Bluetooth remote control. This mini teleprompter allows you to record with any DSLR camera, providing the camera lens is under 82mm, or most mobile phones, which fit onto the rear of the teleprompter with the appropriate DSLR or phone shading plate to provide optimum darkness, and if you're using your phone, the appropriate back plane. There's even a cold shoe interface at the top of the teleprompter if you want to attach a microphone or fill light to your setup. To use the teleprompter effectively, you will need another phone to display the script that you'll be reading from when you go live. I use the Galaxy S6 for this and it conveniently fits into the slot at the front of the teleprompter where it is clamped into place. The S6 with its 5.1 inch screen is more than adequate to fit into the teleprompter and be able to read off the mirrored screen. The teleprompter app comes in the form of an iOS and Android app that the unit recommends via scanning the QR code in the instructions. Despite being a Chinese worded app, it was still quite simple to set up. Inside the app, you can upload and compose your script. Once done, in the settings you can change the background font colour. I tend to leave it on the default white writing on black background as this tends to be the easiest format to see. When using the teleprompter you should ensure that the use mirror setting is enabled so that the reflected backwards wording on your phone appears normal when you read it through the teleprompter. When you're ready to go, make sure the phone is in landscape orientation, select your script, click on the screen again and you're ready to hit the record button. And finally, the accessory that makes a whole teleprompter sell super convenient and prevents you from manually having to get up, scroll up and down and pausing and playing the script on your phone, the Bluetooth remote control. This little battery powered control allows you to start, pause, scroll up and down and control the rolling speed of your script or from the comfort of your filming position, even if the teleprompter unit is across the room. The problem with some teleprompters and using a teleprompter is that your eyes naturally scroll from left to right when reading, making it appear as if you are not talking and engaging with your audience. I've noticed that together with the positioning back plane in the centre of the teleprompter and the position that the script is displayed for you to read, reduces the amount of shifting your eyes do when reading the script, allowing you to be able to look more directly into the camera and your audience. Yes, I'd rather not use a teleprompter for my videos and be able to produce a flawless video based purely on memorising a script or elaborating on notes, but there's nothing wrong with using one if you need to, and where I am at the moment, the teleprompter allows me to gain confidence and get better at being in front of the camera and significantly reduces the time it takes for me to record a video, improving my work efficiency. The more videos I make, the better I'll be, and the less I'll need to use the teleprompter for assistance in the future. Let me know in the comments below if you've noticed that I use the teleprompter in my videos, or whether you use one yourself. 
It's the convenience of this mini teleprompter that makes it attractive for content creators, whether you're a beginner starting out, worried about messing up lines, to even the most seasoned creator wanting to be able to portray concise information in as few takes as possible. From interviews, course recordings, live broadcasts and music recordings, they can all be made simpler thanks to this mini teleprompter with Bluetooth remote control that can be set up in so many different orientations tailored to how you like it. Whether you use DSLR or your mobile phone in landscape or portrait mode to record with. Since I've been using a teleprompter, I think that the A-roll aspects of my videos have got significantly better if you compare them to where I was at the start of this journey, allowing me to concentrate on improving other aspects of the video production process during filming. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below before the time runs out? Three, two, one.